Are you looking to improve your English pronunciation? Would you like to sound more natural and like a native speaker when you talk? Well, this video will help you to do exactly that. In this lesson, I am going to teach you 10 English words that are used very commonly in everyday conversation. These are key to both speaking fluently and sounding like a native speaker when you talk. So what are these 10 words? They are gonna, wanna, have to and gotta, kinda, gimme, lemme, cuz, shoulda, coulda and woulda. I'll show you how to say all of these correctly. There are important grammar notes and bonus words at the end, so make sure to watch the full video. Now a quick note before we start, just remember that these spellings are only for understanding the pronunciation. When you write, please do not write these spellings, write the full forms like going to. Alright, so let's start with the first word, gonna. Gonna is a reduction of going to and it's used when we talk about the future. Notice that it's not gonna, it's pronounced gonna. Here are some sentences. Practice saying them after me. I'm gonna buy a car. What are you gonna eat? I think it's gonna rain soon. Okay, let's move on to number two, wanna. This is a reduction of want to. I want to see a movie tonight. Do you want to come with us? The children want to play outside. If the subject of a sentence is he, she, it, or any singular noun, we add s to the verb want and it becomes wants to. This can be reduced to wants to. He wants to leave. She wants to see you. Number three is have to. This is a reduction of have to. We say have to because it's easier to say that way. I have to go now. You have to wait for me. We have to pay for the meal. If the subject is he, she, it, or a singular noun, we use has to, which is reduced to has to. He has to do his homework. She has to work tomorrow. In English, have to and has to can also be expressed as have got to or has got to, and they mean the same thing. Got to can be reduced to gotta. So you can say, I've got to go now. You've got to wait for me. We've got to pay for the meal. He's got to do his homework. She's got to work tomorrow. Let's move on to number four, kind of. This is kind of and it means type of. There's some kind of problem with my phone. But it can also be used to express something negative politely. This movie is kind of boring. She's kind of rude. This room is kind of dirty. Number five is gimme. This is a reduction of give me. Could you give me a ride home? Give me a second, I'll be right with you. Can you give me change for $10? A related word is let me, which is a reduction of let me. Let me help you with that. Let me know if you need anything. Let me get back to you on that. Let's move on to number seven, cuz. This is a reduction of the word because. We missed the train because we were late. Ben got fired because he yelled at his boss. 
I'm not going to eat anything because I'm not hungry. Next up is shoulda. This is basically should have. You should have studied more for your exam. I should have brought more money. I shouldn't have quit my job. You shouldn't have eaten that pizza. Number nine is coulda, which is a reduction of could have. He could have bought Jane a birthday present. They could have called us before coming. I couldn't have done it without your help. She couldn't have called me because she doesn't have my number. And finally, number 10 is woulda, which is a reduction of would have. If I had known it was going to rain, I would have brought my umbrella. Liz would have gotten the promotion if she had worked harder. I wouldn't have gotten so angry if you had told me the truth. If you had been driving more carefully, you wouldn't have had the accident. Okay, now that you've practiced saying the words, Let's look at a couple of important grammar notes relating to them. All of the forms that you just learned are informal expressions, meaning that it's not a good idea to use them in formal situations. For example, when you talk to your boss at work or when you're giving a speech. In those cases, use the full forms. Also, you should never use these in writing. When you write, use the correct spelling going to, want to, etc. But the good news is that you can use these reductions in all other speaking situations and they will help you to sound more like a native speaker of English. Grammar point number two relates to gonna. In the sentence, I'm gonna buy a car, notice that there is a main verb, that is an action, buy. So going to or gonna just acts as a helping verb to show that we are talking about the future. But have a look at these sentences. I'm going to California next week. Are you going to the party on Saturday? In both of these sentences, going is the main verb. Notice that there is no other verb after going to. So in these situations, we do not say gonna, we say the full form, going to. Remember, only say gonna if going to is used as a helping verb. Okay, in this lesson, you learned the 10 most important reductions in English. But there are others. So here are six more. Musta, oughta, outta, sorta, lotsa, and dunna. Musta is must have. For example, I musta left the keys in the car. He must have gone home early. Oughta is ought to. You ought to come to meetings on time. I ought to visit my parents more often. Outta means out of. We're going out of town tomorrow. It looks like we're out of sugar. Sorta is sort of and means the same thing as kind of, but sort of is more common in British English. I'm sort of tired right now. This tomato smells sort of rotten. Lotsa means lots of. We had lots of fun at the amusement park. She has lots of friends at school. Don't know is a reduction of don't know. It's used most commonly in the phrase, I don't know. Where's George? I don't know. Could you tell me how to get to the library? I don't know, sorry. 
Finally, before we close this lesson, I have some extra practice sentences for you. These are all commonly found in conversation and you can use them in daily speaking situations. I will say each one. You practice saying it after me. What are you going to do? I'm going to go home and watch TV. What do you want to do this weekend? I want to go to the beach. What time do you have to leave? I have to leave at 5. It's kind of late. I've got to go. Can you give me your phone number? You should have said hi to Mark. I didn't because we had an argument. All right, if you like this lesson, give it a thumbs up by hitting the like button. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button to get my latest lessons right here on YouTube. Happy learning and I will see you in another lesson soon.